like the camera ending sooner than before. Why am I not sitting as centered as usually? Hello, I comment! Be, I feel like I'm closer and so yeah. you mess with the camera this I, I, I did move it around a little bit before. Hmm. Something is weird. Turn it the wrong way. No, I start sinking. No, I'm thinking about it. No! Dun, dun, <laughs> you must dun. never think about it. Okay, doing it without sinking. Bam. And muscle memory is in. Uh, 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 is in progress, I hope. Don't think, don't think, don't think. Just do, just do, just do. No sinking, no sinking. There we go. Whew! No do or do not exactly, exactly. And see, there is a proper uh, 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 tie knot. Whew! Tie knot, yes. Oh, the string hands, it can't tie its tie. Yep, no no gaming in ties without tie. But you see, whew! But yeah, one of those things, like like entering the pin when you pay, pay with card, or uh, uh, like, don't think about it, just pop, 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 pop. put in the pin, because my pin is definitely six or seven digits long as I just ba ba da ba ba that would be five uh, anyways um, but yeah in the moment you think about it it's too late so and uh, I guess a further preparation would be to get a drink so for everybody to witness this is just a Dr. Pepper not sponsored I really need to get sponsors at some point mm. but then again this would turn into work yeah. yeah but yeah you see a Dr. Pepper I'm opening it Freshly, there we go. Some ASMR. Here the sparkles. Mm. And whoop. there I go with a glass and coke into the glass. There we go. Was there something else that was already in the glass? No, no, no. Look, there. Oh, okay, there's right, just a yeah. glass, a normal glass. So this is now a glass mm -hmm, of coke. Mm -hmm. Weird. The entire content of the Oh, of the can didn't fit into the glass. That's weird. So they weird. should they should have the same volume. Uh -huh. Strange development indeed. Mm -hmm. mm. Now here's a curious question that I was wondering before. Hey, I think this got the right idea. Hmm? So in other words, don't think on things and or when playing Phoenix right. Got it. Absolutely, absolutely. Now here's a weird thing. Dr. Pepper's tastes very different from Coca-Cola. Yes, it does. So I'm not really sure if this goes with, well with lime juice. Well, it's going to add lime to it. Hmm? I mean, there is does exist lime Coke, but I don't know about lime Dr. Pepper. Exactly. I'm not a Dr. Pepper fan. Yeah, so let's not put lime in it. Let's let's keep it as is. Okay. <laughs> no, we're not sponsored by Rage Shadow Legends yet. Uh, is Rage Shadow Le This is a gacha game, isn't it? They're all gacha oh, yeah. games nowadays. Yeah. yeah. I I will not... If... Okay, before I start with the stream properly. <laughs> uh, here it goes. Didn't you already vlog about this? I, I vlogged about it and therefore I just want to point it out. If I ever get sponsors... If I, if I ever decide to actually go proper job with any internet content I will probably resolve to the boring ones like 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 Squarespace I will gladly take audible and and just gush over the audiobooks I'm actually listening to so I have no hard time doing any sincere audible recommendations and I really hope that one day I get my undies to sponsor me just out of principle because it's culty cult, cult it's like Cult yeah. classic, my undies. Yeah. Um, me undies. Me, me undies, huh? Mm -hmm. Manscape, I guess manscape to, to underline my manliness. Sure. And then you can come in like the, the, the girl in the uh, advertisement and call the manscape thing like, I like smooth rides. <laughs> Have you ever seen the advertisements? They're I, horrible. I missed that one apparently. Be glad, be glad. The advertisements hmm. are absolutely horrible. Oh well, no, but... it's the Abbey Roadie. <laughs> Hey there! But yeah, long story short, 
I, out of principle, no matter how much money they offer me, will never let a gacha game sponsor me. Because, oh boy, they are pestilence. Anyway, hello and welcome everybody to Clip Game... Clip that moment so that we can share it if he ever does go back on that. Ning and ties. Uh, and uh, uh, to Phoenix Rise, Ace Attorney, we continue. I should put this stuff somewhere that I don't accidentally knock it over. I have my nerve calming soft drink ready. Uh, load selected there. And. Uh, oh, four. Four. <laughs> oh, right, this is the second day of the court? The no, third first day. day. The first day is First still. day of this trial. We already finished the investigation yes. from the first day. Now it's the first day of the trial. Oh! Miles murdered somebody on a lake. Allegedly. Allegedly. He's your client. He is my client. So you have to believe in him. I, I believe that he murdered somebody but should uh, have mildered uh, circumstances. That was me doing a face palm in case you're not sure since I'm off camera. Uh, okay. Mm, court is now in session. The trial of Mr. Miles Edwards. The defense is ready, your honor. Oh, and... Oh my goodness, what the hell is that? That is the prosecutor of this trial. This is karma. Which is... What was it, Edgeworth's mentor or at least idol? His mentor. His, even his mentor, not just his idol. Oh my. No, so they both have the same kind of cravat. Oh yeah, they do, but this dude is already completely vampire, where Edgeworth has still a little bit of daywalker qualities. Yeah, he hasn't actually turned yet, he's just getting ready for the lifestyle. Yeah, and any recommendations for the voice? Uh, old German dude? I already used my normal voice for <laughs> Phoenix. I cannot use my normal voice for him use as well. Old, use an older voice. Even oh. older? Jesus. Well, does that look at that hair? Does that look like a man in his thirties? Life goals. I mean, his his hairline is less receding than mine, so he's doing well for himself. I mean, that's that. Yes. But and anime still. characters can have natural gray hair. Okay, so. look at the wrinkles under his eyes. Though. Look at the wrinkles under my eyes. Yes, but he's a he is an anime character, and they bother to draw them. That's how you know the wrinkles are serious. <laughs> okay, and you say he is German. Yes, that's because the, that's what they allege in the uh, okay. American localization. Okay, because Karma is a very German name, not even close. But uh, but he's Van Karma. Van Karma. Okay. Or I could also go more Transylvanian. Sure. Okay, I mean, he looks like a vampire, so it makes sense to speak like a vampire for him. So his first name is Manfred. Manfred is a vampire. Or really? Man Manfred? Manfred. 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 Yeah. yeah. Um, Sorry, my Americanism is showing. Now do I go... Chad, you decide. Do I go more Dracula, or do I go more G uh, hard German accent? The hard German accent will then sound like something like this. Or I could do my little bit more than Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> this will totally not be disturbing for that God, land. Ron Karma is Schwarzenegger. I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, look at his shoulders. Oh, the nigga was asking for Dracula voice. Dracula voice, voice Max without glasses, is the scariest. <laughs> I used to wear contacts all day long, so I wa once once glasses were not this part, this integral integral part of my. Uh, uh, image and appearance <sighs> okay we only have one voice it is dracula okay oh oh um mr podcaba is the prosecution ready i mean you'll hear his objection voice soon enough i'm sure ah mm. fool Egg. ah fool you see this you see Dracula. Ah, Dracula. Ah, you see it. Now I cannot do a Dracula anymore. Ah, you see it, Lisa. I do not drink. I do not drink. Ba ba ba, ba 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 ba. Bla 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 bla. You seriously think that I would stand here where I am not completely prepared? Right, my my apologies. Ah, he's even got the judge scared. See, vampire. Mm -hmm. uh, very well. Your opening statement, please. Uh, decisive evidence. Uh, de 
decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Uh, 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 nothing, of course. That should be fine. The uh, prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? With a wooden stick and garlic. I have neither of those things at hand. I can tell the detective in charge of these gates. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Cronk, Cronk voice. Okay, um. Well, uh, first one, Carlos. Describe the incident now. Couscous, couscous kid, poison, the poison for Cusco. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Detective Gantru looks nervous. Uh, uh, please, please, take a look at the map. Deep experience describing Von Karma as Beethoven on drugs. Uh, the, the, the most recent thing I watched, including Beethoven, was a Peabody and Sherman CGI movie. And Beethoven in there was wild, that's all I'm saying. Uh, no, no, they're not the judge. Crunk, crunk, yeah. The murder happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 2012, she heard two pistol shots. Then, hmm? 12, 10. 12, 10, she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. Plonk. Whoa! Crash! They boom! And hi, hi, hi! Nobody mentioned this boat, uh, boat accident. That was accident. the real method of murder. I, it was I the guess boat so. Crash, not the gun. Yeah. <laughs> the it went towards the boot boat rental shop. There it crashed into another parked boat. The explosions, I tell you, everywhere. Uh. Overhead map added to the court pro uh, record. Ha ha. Testify to the court about the arrest. Now! Wait, uh, 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 Mr. Makara. Yes! Uh, actually, I'm the one that's supposed to handle the proceedings. Ho 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 ho! Look at them! Ah! Oh, there is only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gravel and say the word guilty. That is your uh, yes, of course. Uh, you're quite right. No, he's not. Ding, 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 ding. Give me the, give me, give me the beat. Drop the beat. I need to check. Is is there a metal version of this theme on YouTube? I there would must not be. be surprised. Absolutely, there must be a hard rock I might or have a metal know version. An artist that would have done it. A YouTuber. Ding, ding, ding. Anyways, uh, couscous, couscous poison. A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edwards. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all, but the next morning her body was found in the lake. So, we had to arrest Mr. Edwards. Hmm, I see. Very well. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. Now. Hmm. Press! Received a call from a man. Uh, uh, yep. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the gun two gunshots, right? What was this boy? Yeah, yeah. I would say visually augmented one. <laughs> Basically. The woman and the man who called in the report are two different people, obviously. Different people? There were two witnesses. <laughs> Today, I have summoned the woman who was camping. Ah, so the surprise witness will be remain a mystery for the second day or something. 
Yeah, Gumshoe really is a good boy. He's isn't a, he, he's, a, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's got to be. The woman who was camping, Lotta Hart. What happened next, detective? Theme of Run. We do it. You objected. How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Uh, well, uh, I'd say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our motto for the month is get there quick. Good motto for police force, I suppose. Detective, you will refrain from casual revealing department secrets. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I look forward to your next year's salary review. Why, why do all those uh, uh, um, prosecutors have so much power over the police? Like, uh, mm, I, I recall... In this world, apparently, the prosecution and the police departments work closely together. Closely working... Clo mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Checks and balances. Mm -hmm. I need a... I feel it. I feel it crapping up. But thank goodness I have Dr. Pepper to keep it up. Ooh, that's yep. a strong Dr. Pepper. I tell you, mm -hmm. oh boy. Um, you much older. Hmm. This is not the time for dejection day. Dejected day of dreaming. Continue. <laughs> yes. Sir. There the view, bro. There we found it. What was Mr. Edgeworth uh, Edgeworth like when you saw him? Well, from what I say, he looked pretty relaxed. No, not like a murderer at all, really. Detective, detective, the court requires the facts, not uh, your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only, detective. Hard call, objective, facts. Uh, y yes, sir. Man, he's got a share of objections. Hey, he has objected every single press so far. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't suspect him uh, anything at all. Why didn't you think he, he was suspicious? Uh, you should know. We have a deep trusting relationship with the prosecutors. Detective, the court isn't interested in your musings. Deep, trusting, poppycock. What, poppycock? Poppycock. Poppycock. What? Yeah. A poppycock, what? It's an old-fashioned word for bullshit. Oh, yes, but... You what? haven't heard that one before? No. Oh, yeah. ah. I've never heard so many flippant comments from an active detect detective on the force. No. Detective Gunshot doesn't look so good. Continue. Now. But, uh, next morning we found the body in the lake. Fresh head. Did you find any clues on the body? Ah. The uh, sing uh, single bullet was recovered from the body. He was shot through the heart. Fatally. <laughs> Judge, here is the bullet. Didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Well, 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 this bullet into evidence. Found in the victim's body, fired from a 22 caliber pistol. That is probably important. So we had to arrest Edwards. But why is that? Well, well, we found the murder weapon in the box. The murder weapon? Uh, Bad. Uh, detective come true. Uh, that is a minor piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Uh, uh, right, sir. Sorry, your honor. The murder weapon was found in the boat. Evident. Blah, blah, blah. What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? Ugh. It's the same evil laugh as uh, Edward's. There were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. There were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. What? 
<laughs> what? Oh my god, what's wrong with his legs? Oh no, I'm feeling so sorry for you, Gumshoe. If only I had known you had spread apart leg liters. He has completely vertical legs, but they are like this far apart and sticks to go up into the... He must have... He's, he's standing shoulder length apart. He has a gap between his legs, which is wider than the legs himself. Yeah. Like, yeah. on the crotch. Not, not at the bottom. They come out completely <laughs> vertically. Ah, the poor guy. I'm... Oh. He, he gets special tailored pants. I, I got him. Uh, yeah. Oh, duh. Oh, duh. Oh, so Miss Edgeworth's fingerprint were found on the color weapon. Uh, yeah, yes, your honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Oh, uh, uh, accepted into evidence. The murder weapon, the right caliber, fired three times. Bears prints from Mr. Edgeworth's hand. Dumb right hand. hand. Right hand. Oh. Now it turns out he's left handed. Of course, it's always important to note this. Okay. Members of the court, we now have. We know. We now have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective. Uh, 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 yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Yeah, yes. The ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. Oh. Hey, Nick. What does he mean, ballistic markings? Shocking. To imagine someone here does not know any something as basic as ballistic mark. Yeah, I, I am not sure why she is still here. She is this weird child sidekick who keeps following me around since the first episode where she was a the the, the suspect. No, the second second uh, mm -hmm. court case mm -hmm, was mm -hmm. a, she was a suspect. So yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I try to get rid of her. If if you have a if you we're have a good... friends now, Nick. Mr. Karma, if you have any good repellent, if you get rid of her... If oh, you, come on, Nick. You know you can't get rid of me. If, if you bite her and suck out all her blood, I will let you win this case. <laughs> cool. Then I can live forever and hang out with you forever. No! Nick, oh, shit. <laughs> he's glaring at me. Yes, because I just recommended your veins to, to, to take a zip from. <laughs> Very well, I will explain. Also, she's the proxy for the audience in this situation. In case the people playing don't know about ballistic markings. Not everyone does. Not everyone is a grudging 30-year-old man. 30-something-year-old man. Actually, Judge, you do it. Oh, uh, uh, me? Mm. Um, um. Ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinct marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints. This, you can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads, this leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was, without a doubt, fired from this pistol. Okay, so I'm with him. This pistol, which, as you may recall, was covered with the de defendant's own fingerprints. There, look at his legs. That doesn't mean they don't meet up later. <laughs> we can't see it because of the coat. But it's still vertically. Oh dear, oh dear. I mean, if I didn't know you, poppycocks. Yeah, I didn't know what poppycock were either, so... Yeah, so but it's that... not that weird she asked about ballistic markings. Although I think you were complaining more that she's there. Yes, her existence is the problem. I mean, Phoenix could have asked the question. Well, I mean, Yeah, but she have... has to be there to be the proxy for the audience on things that the, uh, that the player wouldn't know, but Phoenix would know because he went to law school. Did he so? Yes. Did he really so? He had to pass the bar exam in order to get that badge. Oh, that, that badge. Oh, yeah. That no one would believe I was a defense attorney if I didn't carry school. this. So we had to learn about this shit. 
Maya, Mia, Maya, yes, Maya, did not go to law school, therefore would not necessarily know about this shit. She doesn't, she know doesn't her. know anything, so... This is bad. This she knows about the steel like samurai. Uh, and that's enough for you, for me. Uh, that makes it look like Edwards did it. Well, judge. Oh, I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare the verdict at this point. However, you wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued, and so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess, which will last ten minutes. Ah, ah, ah. He's not the count. He looks like it. He looks like a vampire, not the count. I will be back in 10 minutes. Ah, ah, ah. One minute has passed and it's only nine more minutes. Two minutes. Why do I feel like later we're gonna have a situation of a, a famous avatar quote? Sokka, why is your forehead all red? <laughs> Judge. <laughs> What are you doing? A ten minute recess. Now. No, 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 wait, boy. Just bang your flimsy gravel and get on with it, man. Gavel, there's no R. Gavel, gavel. It's not no, yes. um, It's a hammer. This court will take a ten minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? Von Karma. Ah, ah, ah. Nine minutes. Woo! Defendant lobby number two. Oh, edgy. Edgeworth, what's going on here? Your fingerprints were on the murder weapon. Uh, mm. Hmm. And the foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only one who could have shot the man was the person in the photo. True. Was that you in the, bo in the boat? Yes. It was me. What? But you must believe me, I didn't shoot him. Th then who did? I don't know. You don't know? Weren't you right there? I heard a gun. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wrong voice, wrong voice. Andy, I think you Andy, oh yeah. I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. Y you mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation I can come up with. Huh. I'm not going to, pr going to convince anyone of that. Say, Maya? Huh? What? Any progress with Mia? Or maybe the murder victim? Yeah, we don't want you to become youthful now, do we? Phoenix. Uh. I should. As does half the internet, at least. Wait, Maya and Phoenix? No, Miles and Phoenix. Oh, okay, that's fine. They're the OTP of the franchise. Yeah. I know. I'm no good for anything, am I, Nick? Yes, you are not good for anything, so sis. She didn't ask Max, she asked Nick. Yes, and I'm his oh god. If I can't call my sister, I might as well not be here, right? No need for you. No, uh, no, I need you here. Yeah, you're useless. <laughs> Do the right thing, Max. Okay. Uh, well, right actually, too. you don't know law, you don't have any trial experience or technique. He is, uh, huh? It's not just me. Yeah, you're pretty much useless, but I can't say that. Game. Even yeah, he knows better. It's okay, Nick. You don't have to say anything. Your face said it for you. 
Whoops. No, 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 of course we... I'm sorry. I will tell you to be nice. <laughs> you it's know okay. me! Since when am I nice, Abby? It's okay, Nick. I don't know anything about trials or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. Oh, everyone has their off days. I mean, it's just been getting lucky. I've just been getting lucky lately. I wish you didn't get lucky. Yeah. But you never know when my luck is going to run out. Wait, huh? But you never know when my luck is yeah. Really? <laughs> whoa, 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 right. Don't jinx this kid. Don't jinx this case any more than it already is. It's bad for my heart. Oh. Don't toy with his heart like that, Max. Exactly. O oops, I did it again. Oh, oh, sorry. I played with your heart. Okay, so, uh, yeah. somewhere I lost it. Somewhere yeah, I yeah, you did. Uh, uh call it back a session. Mr. Funkaba, go your witness. Yes. Will Miss Lotta Hart take the stand? Once again, I apologize to everyone from the South for what I'm about to do. Lotta Hart, you are a research student at a university. <clears throat> that I am. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. And don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, those two are already off to a great start. Y'all need to learn some manners. Understand. Yeah, yeah I understand, I understand. Please give me a beat. Come on. Yeah, yeah. It was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard this bang come up from the lake. Did she mention that she heard it herself? Or was it just the camera doing the thing? Was she making shit up? When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Ha! Huh, somebody's making up a lot of shit right now. Then there was another bang. Oh, well, first shot, second shot. It wasn't nary a thing on the lake with that boat. Plus, the gun was fired three times, so there is still this one additional shot that's not accounted for. Enough! Huh? Judge. She happened to take a photo of the incident. This... Is that photo accepted as evidence? Well, 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 this is a surprise. This looks like uh, the very moment of the book. Look, she's doing it yeah, she had, No, her eye, her legs were actually, she's standing very white standard, but her legs actually diverge where they should, while his still vertically. It's a rule of mass that two, two parallel lines can never meet. So he doesn't have a crutch, because it never meets. Their legs keep going up through his trench coat, and then they disappear Are you like my he's hands. Got no balls? I mean, apparently not in the uh, presence of uh, Van Karma. <laughs> okay. uh, well, I will remove people from this courtroom if I do not have uh, order immediately. Also, Abby's with you on the thing. A lot of shit. Yep. Um. As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shot. There were no other boats on that lake. So the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it was the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. No, honor, honor, honor. No, I will have honor. Well, Judge. Oh boy, look at this. There he is. Yeah. Oh, the 
evident to this uh, size of... Boy, oh, I mean, love to this case. Very well, the court finds the defendant. Wait, wait, your honor. I haven't cross-examined the witness yet. Cross-examination. We have photographic proof. What question can there possibly be? This photo is worth a thousand words, and they all read guilty. You lose. Or do you claim to have found a contradiction in your testimony? Hmm. Very well. If you have to, you may cross-examine the witness. You will only flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then I will have to held, uh, held in contempt of court. Have you held? Held in contempt of court. No. Uh, Nick, contempt? Contempt of court, you know. I guess I understand. Well, what are you going to do? Do you really think there was a contradiction with the facts in her testimony? Not with the facts within her testimony, but with stuff I know. I think there was. Plus, two shots. We know how the camera works. The camera uh, uh, triggers on loud noises. Hence, the first shot actually triggered the photo. Why was there a second shot then and who did it? Mm. The shot is actually not the shot of the murder. The shot must be the shot of the first shot. Why is it called a shot when you take a picture in English? English is stupid. Because it goes, it's a very <laughs> sudden noise, much like a, a bullet fired from a gun. Thank goodness it's not called photo season in Deutsch. Which it actually is. Aha. Ah, god damn it! Uh, I think I noticed one little thing. Wow, I'm impressed, Nick. I didn't notice anything. Yeah, we already established that you are useless. No, you're not helping your case. Right, let's take him on. Uh, you are a little bit too young for that, so please let me handle this in court ways and... Talk. Yeah, you can take him on. Oh, yeah! Everything for my mildly bildly Um, I think she was talking about karma. Oh. Yeah, for him. I do it for him. For him, I take... Take him on. Yeah. Karma. I take karma on and I do it for my miles. To save my miles, I take on karma. Anyway. Changing yeah, his I got a bad feeling about this. God, I'm so burned on this phrase thanks to Clone Wars. Jesus. Mm. Every single fucking episode. Hey, there's a vlog topic for you. There's a vlog topic for me, isn't but it? But now we're playing this game. We do play this game. I understand. We only have an hour anyway. Uh, I understand. I will cross-examine the witness. Just, just, just. Very well. Oh, I'm brave for your sake. This isn't a waste of time. Wow, he looks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Done with it. You must quit me. Just after midnight, I reckon. Just after midnight, you say. In other words, it was no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas, Christmas Day. Day. It's the last. It's the line. It's a bit mimetic. It's a bit of a meme. Okay. I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> huh? Uh, yeah, well, yes. I just want to say this. I know you wanted to find contradictions, but really. Uh, oh, I hope your next contradiction is a little more relevant to the trial. With this, continue your testimony. I was in my car. Ah! Why were you uh, camping there anyway? I'm a research student at my university. I was taking pictures to use in my research. What research? Does this all sound suspicious? Press further. Miss Hart, could you be more specific about your research? Because yeah, why is her fucking camera pointed on the lake? Just keep going I know. you'll get the answers. I, I, I know, I know, I'm, I'm just... Detectiving out loud. Yeah, 
I, I'm not just I'm not just reading that. I, I'm playing it. I'm being I'm actually involved right now. Okay, I'm glad you're involved. Yes. Or invested, whatever. Invested. What does the witness's motive in camping by the lake have to do with this case? The answer is nothing. Uh, I object to this line of questioning. But no, no! Let me question her why she had a fucking camera pointed on the lake in the first place. He's sustaining his own objection. Objection sustained. Oh, uh, I'm the one who says it. Well, then say it already. No! No! Thanks for nothing, your honor. No! This was... No! I want to go back and do this again. I want to press her again on this one. I know that it will just yeah. loop around, mm -hmm. but no. <laughs> That's just fun karma for you. <sighs> That's the kind of I shady have loud bangs come up from the lake. <laughs> so you weren't looking at the lake at the time. Nope. I looked after I heard that noise. <laughs> Yeah, I could not do his voice for an entire episode. Mm -hmm. She said that already. I ask you to find contradictions, not leisurely chat with the witness. <laughs> what? Well, I the window, two James in a boat. She never, she didn't. Could you clearly see the two men? Just look at the picture, clear enough for you. Yeah, but you didn't. You lying bitch. Jesus! Uh-huh. Press further. She's lying. You know that she told you a different thing when you witnessed her, but she didn't even know that something happened when you talked to her. I wasn't asking you about the photo. It. I was asking if you saw the two men. Uh, yeah, well, of course. The witness has testified that she saw them. There is a photo. You'd best look uh, elsewhere for your precious uh, contradiction. Jump in quick, he's hiding something. What another bang. You were watching the very moment the shot ran out. Well, yeah, sure. You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless. Contradictions, Mr. Wright, not meaningless babble. Karma, I think I hate you. <laughs> He's trying to keep me from talking to the witness. To what end? Are you seeing or lying on the boat? Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure as a country gal can be. That sounds pretty sure. <laughs> Read further. How come you are so sure? Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake? It almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Miss Hart, you... <laughs> Miss... Uh, Mr. Wright. The witness has answered the question in full. <sighs> no need for further questions. Objection sustained. <laughs> That's what I... Sustained. Yes, of course. Alright. Uh, Enough. I think we've heard all that there's need, Mr. Wright. It seems you are unable to find a contradiction in the testimony worth nothing. But, 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 Your Honor! You keep your promise. Well, uh, Mr. Wright, I am afraid that I will have to penalize any further outbursts by holding you in uh, contempt of court. If that happens, you will have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understand? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Nick! Lotta's testimony is fishy, Nick. Real fishy. Yes, I know, but the game doesn't let me do anything about it. Yeah. You know where fish live? In a lake. <sighs> Connect clues! Connect it! Give, <laughs> give, give, give me some, some, some red lines that I can pinpoint behind me. <laughs> I know what you mean, but uh, if I can't say anything, what can I do? Well, I believe we have covered them sufficiently to make a decision. Then pass your judgment. 
Well, well. Most of my dead please take the phone. Uh, who, who was that? It was me. Don't you dare make her the crucial figure game. Oh. Maya. Uh, is something wrong? Don't you need to do yourself? Do you need to do yourself? No, I do not. Lot of heart. Your testimony stinks. It's unclear whether you were actually looking at the lake. It's highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth. This is a matter of life or death. <laughs> Lotta! Did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? Oh, is that done? Uh, the court does not acknowledge the defense is out first. Answer me, Lotta! What's the big idea? Treating me like some kind of criminal. I saw him, I swear it. I saw Edgeworth. Enough. <laughs> the, 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 the goddamn in between thing uh, uh, <laughs> got me to change my voice. <laughs> ah, judge. Declare the defense in contempt of God. Also, I agree with Abby. Don't get mad, she's saving your ass. The game is forcing me to accept her saving. No, yes, yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you will not. The guard escorts this right out of the court. He is a kind of court and mocking. No. No. Wait, says a mysterious per oh, Wait, it's still her. I, I was the one who made the outburst, Your Honor. Nick is innocent. Ah. What's the difference? All that remains for the guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Wrong! Wrong. What? Did you hear that what Mrs. Hart just said? Not Mrs. Miss. Sorry. She said she clearly saw Mr. Edwards. That was not in the testimony. That changes her testimony and I have a right to cross-examine her again. Plus, we have a photo which cannot clearly identify Edgeworth in the photo. So how can a human with inferior eyes to a high pro pro photo camera be better than uh, a human eye? There's more than it is. Let's find out. Exactly. Order, 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 order. <laughs> To, to, it that to way. you, dear judge, to you. Ah, you're in contempt of court. It's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. Come on, oh, judge, have a spine. Oh, I feel my bolts dropping. Mm, one ball, two ball. I'm sorry, Mr. Van Carver, but I cannot. What? You have grown balls right in my presence at your age? I am impressed. Mr. Lotta Haas has made a new testimony. The defense do uh, does have right to cross-examine Hogan. But, but, he is in contempt of court. No, I am. If you're going to arrest someone, arrest me. I've already been there, been in the jail anyway. It's true. You will not even count as fresh meat anymore. Ooh. Ooh, she's underage. Not in Japan. Mmm. <sighs> it's a Japanese game, sorry. If it would be a Western game, she probably would be 20 or something. Mmm. <laughs> Very well. Depends on what era it came out in. Also true. Mario <laughs> Fate! You will leave the courtroom immediately. Finally! Yes! I am just as happy as you look. I did what I could. Yes, you got yourself kicked out. I'm so proud of you. I gave you a chance in the process. You have to do the rest. Good luck. I finally can work undistracted. Mamaya, I will not miss you.
Axel, I care not for this melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate badgering of my witnesses. I'm running out of time. I'd better find a contradiction in her or else. No, Mr. Wright, begin your cross-examination. Saw it clear as day. The man on the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. That's it. Uh, oh, I don't know if I can do anything with her, that, but I can't squander my effort either. Okay, I guess. I hope the game doesn't automatically kick me out of the cross examination, but I guess I first try press before I present shit. Because I want to present the photo. Well, what about the other man? You cannot expect to be allowed to blindly ignore your promise, Mr. Wright. I believe you claimed there was a contradiction in the witness's testimony. Well, find it, if you can. No, oh, Mr. Wright, I have to assign you a penalty. What? Mm. Oh, man. You Damn. get penalized for pressing. It can't That's it. happen. So I guess pressing again will do the same thing? Yeah. So, okay. Photo time it is. I guess. So, this is a leg yeah, photo. Oh, it's a map. Overhead map. Wait, this is a map. This is a photo. So, yeah. it was on the right one. Yeah. I thought we had got a new photo. No, it's. I actually had this photo the entire time. Well, yeah, I thought we got another one at the court photo. Time of death, right. sometime. One bullet in the heart. Just do the heart! And no one to blame. Mild. Uh, get to automatically take a picture when a loud noise is detected. This can also plays obviously a role because there were two shots. Yes, so the but what picture... did he present on this thing? Exactly. This was uh, uh, Mia's mother and Maya's mother, both mm -hmm. their mother. Mm -hmm. She got around. Um, she had a husband, one would assume. Or did she? Yeah, it we could. Don't know if they had the same father. It, or it, not. it it could be a double uh, uh, Holy Spirit impregnation. I mean, they do mention the whole thing about it being hard for the women in that village to keep men in their life because they're not happy with women and being the only ones that have power. Hmm. Hmm. See. I forget one that's mentioned. Yes, please. And... Okay, you cannot tell you which can't see shit. Okay, you can literally not tell if it's the right or the left hand because that no. would be the joke if it turns out that it's actually a left hand in the picture. You I, can't see shit. Yeah, I guess that's actually what it's coming down to. Um, what do you present on this thing? What it seems see it it, it very much seems to be this one. Wait, what? What was this one again? Article about a monster? Nope, this doesn't seem to have any relevance at the moment. It's very clearly that because yeah, you cannot make out anybody in this picture. I called this like how long ago? Yeah, yeah. You have to follow the procedural of the the, the thing. Got you. Got you, Miss Hart. Finally. But what? You got what? Look at this photograph. The photo I took? You mean that the machine automatically took after hearing a loud noise? You did yes, shit? Yes, you've established that. She said it. The very it. same. There is something I can't... Uh, I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. So? So? This picture was taken with professional, high-quality film, correct? Yet even it could not capture the faces of the man on the boat. Yet you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth. How? Brain dead. <laughs> Her brain just went pzzing. Oh, Mr. Right to the point. That's why I told her not to say it in her testimony. Please. Yet now she has said it, mi said it, Mr. Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Oh, Miss Hart. What? Could you see the defendant that night? Uh, of course. I said it, I could, and I meant I could. Then please testify as to the circumstances of your sighting. 
the hole and Kamas carefully vague testimony. Oh, she's going to explain it. How? You're right. It was a cold night and the fog was thick as grits. Uh huh. That's pretty thick. So, once I finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Uh huh. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. Uh huh. When I heard that noise out on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. Uh huh. See? No problem. Your binoculars are still more powerful than high tech photo shit? Hmm, you use binoculars? Oh, very well. You may begin your cross examination, Mr. Wright. This, <laughs> this one better be good. Are we still in the mode where I can get penalty for pressing? See, it was cold night and the mist was thick as grits. Okay, nobody's questioning that. So, once I was finished setting up the camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard this noise out on the leg, I looked with my binoculars. I'm afraid of pressing! The, ga the game made me scared. I enjoyed just pressing after every single statement. There's usually some sort of sting or something to give you a hint, or if not overtly tell you if they're gonna penalize you again or not. Okay, so I can press, you say? Maybe. I'd say, you know how it's kind of when you finish going through the testimony that Phoenix or Maya, when she's around, will say something to give you a hint? Yeah, yeah. You could try checking that, see if it says anything about, oh, but if I press too hard, then I won't get okay. it. Okay, so... Or you could try pressing. I try pressing. So, why could you see it? What? How could you see Edgeworth? Now just hold your horses for a second. You hasty Yankee types will never find a gal where you, where I'm from. No, no, the ladies have trouble with that as it is. <laughs> Ouch. Nobody knows. <laughs> what just happened? Poor Phoenix. So, once I was finished setting up the camera. Wait, how was this his reply? What? what, what, what? Your camera. Yeah, it's got an automatic. Yep. This issue we are concerned with. This issue we are concerned with here is Miss Hart seeing Mr. Edgeworth. The camera has nothing to do with this at all. No objection to stay. It's not letting her answer any of my questions. And I still brought my binoculars with me. Binoculars? Yeah, binoculars. Yesterday you mentioned that you were out looking at shooting stars, correct? Well, yeah. Wouldn't you need a telescope, not binoculars for that? <laughs> not to mention, shooting stars up in the sky, not on the lake. Why It'll is the camera pointing at the lake? It'll be addressed. Be patient. <sighs> I just wait, I need a refill. Yeah. But with what? This was my only Dr. Pepper. Mm-hmm. I'll have to get creative. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Anyways. Uh, I have got doubts about your camera. I have got doubts about your camera too. Was that real? Uh, really to take pictures of the meteor shower? Yes. I told Thank you. you. It would be a dress. I could tell that something was off when we found yes. the camera in the first and place. Obviously, obviously, it would be a dress. Yes, just it got. I am. <laughs> the camera is irrelevant in the, to this case. You can't say that for certain. Hmm, Mr. Ride, is the camera really relevant to the case? If you believe this, you may continue with this line of question. But no, this. If you find nothing with this, there will be consequences. Oh, well, Mr. Wright, do you wish to press further about the camera? Yes! This is a make it or break it time. The camera of ut is of utmost importance, Your Honor. It is perhaps the key to this entire case. Therefore, I will continue my line of questioning. Wow, I maybe, uh, maybe I went a little overboard there. Very well. Now, Miss Hart, you will testify to the call about the camera. Hmm? No, I was reading the camera. Oh, and it just randomly sneak into the picture sometimes. 
I mean, I could make it even uh, more interesting by doing that. It's a body hand! Ah! Whoosh, whoosh, shoosh, 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 disappear! Bloop! Haha, I definitely defeated this mysterious hand forever! Ah! Okay, let me. Uh, let me flip that bab bag. Floop! Whoa! <laughs> Wrong way! That vertical means up and down. Ah. Looking for horizontal. Yeah, I probably did. I probably yeah, yeah, did. Will yeah, I know. Flip it once. <laughs> Flip it like a thought. Flip it like a thought. Okay, and now horizontal. No. Oh, vertically. Okay, there we go. And this is the right direction again. Okay, everything is back to normal, ladies and gentlemen. You can stop panicking. Don't panic. Okay. Turn the world is upside down. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The game I was set up to take picture. <gasps> that is a lie, Miss Hart. What made you choose that lake for to photograph meteors? You know the fog gets sick on that lake. It's not very suited for stargazing. Yeah, well, you see, I, I guess I wasn't thinking too straight. <laughs> Mr. Wright. Ah, I will not have you badgering my witness because of her challenged intellect. Ooh. Now wait a minute. Continue your testimony. You were saying how it was that you saw Edgeworth. Uh. No unnecessary comments, please. Ooh, he said please. That makes it all better. Yeah, nice. Like I locked with my binoculars. Can I, can I press again about this one, maybe? Okay, I guess I can press on this one, and then I have to go back and present something, because it will probably not get us anywhere. If there was a heavy fog, how could binoculars change that at all? Yeah, thank you. What do you mean? Even binoculars can't see through fog. <laughs> what? But you say you clearly saw him. I did, yeah. Enough. There is no room for doubt in your testimony. What? What? You heard the man. What? How is... Yeah, I figured this. I have orange juice in the fridge. Thank you. Well, but you still need me for the testimony. Sure. Hmm, she sounded pretty doubtful to me. Yeah, exactly, thank you. But I have to find a clear contradiction first. I don't care how many of karmatic objections I get. I'm going to find a hole in this testimony if it's the last thing I do. Well, I pressed everything, so I need to throw her some uh, something in her face. Okay, let's go through my shit again. Set to automatically take a picture when a loud noise is detected faces the lake. Yeah. Okay. Time of oop, uh -oh. time of death. Okay, nobody cares about this one. Taken automatically. I guess the automatically part kind of is relevant, but didn't really take any. Okay, this one is completely irrelevant at this point in time. I dare to say. Article about the monster. I don't think the article really. No, the article is. Uh, also, oh, this becomes probably relevant later. Right now, it's bullshit. Okay, let's see. Do you do anything? We just know where she looked at the boat, but uh, nothing beyond that. Boat was in the middle. Found in the victim's body the ballistic markings match a murder weapon, which is fine. We agree that this weapon got used for shooting, for murdering, three times fired. I only have two. Shots accounted for by now. Where's the Prince of Edward's right hand? I guess I have to use the camera for something. Let's see. Okay. 
Yeah, right. It was cold night and the mist was going to stay. Don't think that's an easy. So once I was finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Maybe showing her the camera on this statement. Let me go through it first. The camera was set up to take pictures of a meteor shower. Or here. Maybe this is the one. This is the one because if it's set up to take pictures of a meteor shower, why is it set up to react to loud noise? I have the feeling that this is the one where the bullshit is. Let me still go through the rest. When I heard that noise out on the lake, I looked at my binoculars. Okay, so she's just claiming that it's bullshit. We all know it's bullshit, but it's not really something I can contradict. I'm pretty sure this is the one I want to press. Should I wait for you with the uh, evidence? I have the lime juice right here, yes. Okay. Okay, the thing is, oops, thank you. Okay, mm. wholesome, delicious, pure orange juice. Orange. Yeah, exactly. That's 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 what I'm drinking. Oh, I didn't say pure. Wow, it's uh, I I say it's pure. Without knowing better, but now I unpure it. Or do you want to? Oh, I want some for my for okay my, for my uh, citrusy fruity drink. Ah, a citrusy fruity drink. Mm. And I want some. Wait, this bottle is green. Can we have fun with it? Not really. It still looks like it doesn't completely wait, disappear. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Hold, it, hold it towards the background. Yeah, it, it gets kind of blurryish, but it's not green. It's, it, it's the wrong tone of green. And it has too much structure. Well then. Okay. She set up the camera for the meteor shower. And the camera is set up to react to noises and faces the lake. This sounds like a direct bullshit. Bam bam bam! Oh, the music stopped. Ladies and gentlemen, the music stopped. I, I, I better put on my deal with his glasses for this one. Mm -hmm. uh, you were photographing shooting stars. That's a lie. Tis a lie! Says who? I saw the camera you set up yesterday. It was pointed directly at the lake. You have to point a camera towards to uh, uh, upwards to take photos of the stars, Miss Hart. <laughs> Plus, it's noise triggered. Noise triggered. They're too interesting, that. I know, but. Right? <sighs> Why are you driving it? The witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, your honor. Well then, what exactly was she photographing? You have evidence. Yeah, I have evidence. Mm -hmm. This is a very photo, your honor. Take a look at this. No, no, it's not. Oh, what was this like right Oh, are you telling me this? Did you just now realize it? Hmm? What she was really trying to photograph? Uh, messy. Yeah, did you only just now realize that? Yes. I, 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 I thought, no, I thought the entire time she was involved. I mean, I, I, admittedly, I had issues putting it together because she obviously seems to be too dumb to be part of the murder plot, but I actually suspected her to be a planted witness, to be, to have been sent there, to have... <laughs> she was so hung up. On the details, he didn't accept the obvious. Emma, <laughs> come on, guys. It's, I mean, uh, is it that out there that she maybe was there, but directed by somebody to be there to take pictures of it? I mean, okay, I mean, yeah, it would make sense, and also the noise triggering and everything, but... God damn it, you had a red head by now for, from laughing. <laughs> Jesus, I need a zip of orange juice. By the way, cheers. Cheers. With our pop drink. Mm -hmm. Miss Hart. This is what you were trying to photograph. 
Oh, a newspaper article? Yes, she tried to take a picture of a newspaper article. Yes. It's kind of redundant, but it's what she earns her living with. Guardian? Uh, oh, the sign of Edward Lake. Well, Miss Hart? Uh, I've never heard of no lake monster. You got proof or something? Let's see you prove that I was down at the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. I have proof, I guess. Uh, intriguing. Uh, very well, that's it. Uh, no joking around this time, please. What is uh, proof of the witness uh, photograph? Uh, I, I guess we are back to the camera setup because mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's noise, noise detecting. Mm -hmm. The proof, Miss Hart, is your own camera. <gasps> Brain dead. I mean, it. Yeah. Your camera was set to take photos in response to loud noises, correct? And looking at the lake, it's like, yeah. Sus, this photograph you're taken when the gun fired on the lake. And here, this article about Gordy. According to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. I missed that part. Apparently, you were so hung up. <laughs> kind of, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, there was a loud noise and then Gordy appeared. Well... You were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you had set up your camera to respond to loud noises and pointing at the lake. Order! Order! Ah, he's down to two again. Good guy. Uh, good for him. Oh, I see. I too thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure. Speaking, taking my, taking the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Thank you, Phoenix. Well, Miss Hart, you were camping there to try and take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? Yeah, not bad. Oh, you lawyers, that smart. So smart, boy. I was down there trying to photograph Gordy. You got me. So what? Huh? That don't change what I saw, does it? It proves that you're a fucking liar in court, that you broke all oaths. You're an unreliable witness. You are a fucking liar. You lie through your teeth. You are in there for publicity. You are trying to find some legendary monster. You are after fame and fortune. This is... You're lying! He's shaking the desk, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. No! <laughs> she just... <laughs> <laughs> the trials, they're the rough part. <sighs> what you just... You, what you just used several pr uh, precious minutes of our time to prove is nothing more than what... Uh, that the witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. <laughs> But as she su uh, su succinct. succinctly said, so what? It changes nothing. Except for her entire trust, Rosiers! Wait, oh no, there's, there's deposit on it, so yep. I cannot cross Impressive. this can. We need to return that for money. It's only 25 cents! Resist urge to crush. Uh, okay. You can't resist your German urges to not, to not get my Get my deposit back. <laughs> Apparently I can't. Let me crush something else in the meantime. Uh, uh, okay, I don't have anything crushable at my desk that I want to crush at least. It changes nothing. Not true. You were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason. I know it. But what could it have been? Whether it is, whether it is I'm getting to the bottom of Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of it. <laughs> Why did I admit that you were searching for Gordy from the court? Not hiding. She was actively lying about it at least three times in her testimony. Oh, uh, please revise your testimony. Yeah. Leave Stern, he doesn't know. I got to mix it. Right, fine, I'll testify. It won't change nothing, though. B vodka? What vodka? I don't know anything about any vodka. This is a good Christian household. We... <sighs> <laughs> you could have at least let me try to finish the sentence. No. 
Uh, okay. Something will change. It has to. And I'm going to spot it. Mm. Wait, I have been told that without my glasses I look more horrible. Mm. I could do my eye trick. Ah, that eye trick. Yeah. Hi. How are you doing? You should have been doing the <laughs> doing that when um, Edgeworth was doing the grabbing the desk thing. <laughs> True. Oh, oh! Somebody looks a little bit less uh, uh, self-assured. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. Actually, I'm not a research student at a university. Do we have a pillow somewhere in nearby? Okay, your your, your jacket has to have. You're welcome. <laughs> How much less trustworthy does a witness has to be to not be trusted anymore? She did not lie about her, she lied about her motive, about what she did when he, she set up her camera. She lied about her entire motherfucking identity. <sighs> Can we please ga go back at some point to a relaxing casual game like getting over it or something else fun like uh, the, the, the hero game or whatever Sure, it's but called. we have to finish this one first. I'm not sure I survived this. Every single gray hair in my beard is due to this game, even though I had them before this game we started playing this I game. I believe in you. She's she's uh, I'm an investigative photo photographer. Imagine what a scoop it'd be if I got a picture of that monster. Sorry, I was reading the uh, well, sympathy yeah. in the credits in the comments. That's why I was camping out by the lake. But that's all I was hiding. I was screaming at it, Enigma. Not using it as a tissue or what? Screaming into it, yeah. Yes. Why does it need it? Why do you? Well, anyway. There, there. <laughs> it's true. I needed a hug. Uh, when I heard the bang, I looked right straight out of that lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched that boat the whole time. Then I saw a flash near one of the men's hands, and I heard another gunshot. I was looking right at that boat the whole time, crossed my heart and hoped to fry. Hmm, uh, this is right. You may cross examine the Oh, come on. The witness's testimony is as unchanged from it literally is not. She literally changed half of it. Whether she is a research student or a photographer has no beating in the, on this case except for the fact that she is a lying, stinking attention whore. But I don't care about this. There is no need to waste more of my, uh, more of our time with another pointless cross-examination. No! Mm -hmm. I claim the defense's right to cross-examine the witness, your honor. From karmas, from, ka from karmas up to something. I know it. Von is a German word and means from, so I read it as a German sentence starting like, Von Karma needs to... It, 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 it threw me <laughs> off because I read it as like, not part of his name. <laughs> He doesn't want me to cross-examine her because why? Where was there a contradiction? Still, what is it with those goddamn prosecutors who are more interested in getting, I mean, it's very American attitude, I have to admit, getting a, a, a conviction rather than, tr or, uh, than the truth? 
What? But he's German. Obviously, it's a German attitude. Well, yeah. No, it, I mean, that's the thing. If he would be German, he would be strict and have no emotions and would be no, all about the toast. No, he's the, the bad guy because this is an American localization. Oh, this makes so much... Okay, now everything. And from Japanese point of view, I mean, just watch uh, uh, evil guys in anime, uh, uh, especially from the 80s and 90s. They all looked like Nazis, so... Uh, I mean, in, in the original Japanese, he was... Basically, any time a character localized as German in this game, they were originally American. Oh, cheers, Japan. I love you again. Most of the time. Not every time. Uh -huh. There's uh -huh. also a case where they use England instead. But that's because of cars and what side the driver's on. Fair. Fair. He doesn't know about why. We have a contradiction. No, 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 no. You may begin to cross the bridge. You think sure of yourself, you must have something in mind. Ah, uh, well that would be a thirst. <laughs> Very funny. Well, you are the third entity if you're not. Trans uh, cross-examination is correct. If there is no problem with the testimony this time, we will let them in. I will appoint my verdict at that time is correct. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I see no blinking in the top right, so I should be fine to press. Then what manner of person are you? This is literally the next Relevant thing. question. Yes. I'm not sure I'm high pollutant enough to be called a manner of anything. I'm not familiar with that. Hmm. Investigative photographer. An investigative photographer? Blah, blah, blah. Yep. Maybe you just slow down on the orange juice there. You get your photo and sell it to the press. It's that kind of business. Hey, I was taking pictures at my sister's graduation last year. And guess what? Uh, what? Check it out. There was a UFO just a hanging in the sky. Uh, UFO? You know, an unidentified flying object. A UFO. Wow, she is really airheaded. That's when I had a sort of a revelation. I knew I should become an investigative photographer. I, I, he's channeling me right now. If I would be an, a, a, a cartoon character, exactly this would be the face I would be making right now. With the sweat drops and everything. Kind of a shaky basis for a career. But you can still afford high end photography equipment somehow. Yeah, imagine what a scoop it would have been. Uh, is Gordy really that newsworthy? Heck yeah, yeah, they even had him up on the TV. I'm not sure that appearing on the local news's Rumor of the Month segment qualifies. Last month's segment was Bigfoot sighted on Acorn Hill, I believe. Why do you know that? Obviously he has a lot of time on his hands to watch that stuff. Fair point. Hey, they also had a picture of him in the newspaper, for real. Very serious newspaper is that. Ah, uh, Mr. Wright, this is one fight I do not believe you can win. Let's keep moving, shall we? Yes, your honor. That's why I'm getting it. That's why you put the automatic sensor on the camera. On your camera. Yep, borrowed it from a university professor. Ah, so she can't afford a camera. She analyzes every sound it picks up, and when it gets a bang, it snaps a shot. Yep. So, how many pictures has it taken so far? The only time the camera triggered was that night. Hmm. But shouldn't it have triggered twice? That's all I was hiding. I think it's time you told us why you felt you had to hide your true purpose at the lake. Hey, if word got out what I was up to, the lake to be swarming with competitors. So you lied in court. That seems reasonable. Competitors? 
Yeah, second rate shutterbugs trying to steal my scoop. Yeah, you as a third rate shutterbug would really, really suffer if the second rate comes in. <laughs> Is that the only reason you were hiding the truth and lying to the court? Well, actually. Oh, I was wondering when he is finally speaking up again. He, he let me ask a lot of questions. Mr. 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 Right. I'll not have you asking questions with no relevance to this case. Whatever you say, Von Karma, I know you told her to keep quiet. And I heard Ben, I don't play that way. Exactly what sort of sound was it? Well, I never heard one before, so I can't say for sure, but it sounded like a gunshot. You heard a second one moments later, so you have a literal direct comparison thing well, going on there. Know if them were but let's assume that at least one of them was a gunshot because you saw the flash and everything. Were those two sounds identical? That's the question here. It was a lot sharper a sound than I would have expected. Hmm. A sharper sound than a gunshot. I was like, nah, I watched the boat the whole time. There wasn't much else to look at. Yep. I don't know if she heard a bang and she thought Gordy was out there. I kind of thought she'd waste any time looking at a boat. What? What did I do now? What are you giving me that look for? Definitely suspicious. Maybe it's time for some more ev for some evidence. Wink, wink, notch, notch. Witness, continue. Oh, you're a hush puppy, Pop. I'm getting there. So the sentence before that is the one where the game just gave me a hint. When mm -hmm. I saw a flash near one of the man's hands and I heard a gun. <gasps> Let's first object a little bit here. Was there nothing on the lake but the boat at the time? Huh? Wait, so you're thinking maybe he was shot in some other place? I don't think so, no. The lake was smooth as glass. Nobody was on the shore, neither. Hmm. I better find some sort of contradiction in the testimony. I won't be able to find a gamma right now. Hey, or something. Okay. Yeah. So he gave a very explicit hint. hint on one of the and, statements. Uh, and the second to last statement why I'm coming on the lake. Oh, I'm hiding. I'm staying. Looking right straight at the lake. I believe this was the one. No, this was the one. This was the one where he was wandering. There wasn't much else to look at, so I, I just watched the boat for a while. No, still not. Hmm. So Gumshoe said he got the call at 10 minutes past midnight, didn't he? So why did the call come in before? But this will probably be relevant on day two when we actually get yeah. the caller witness. It's not relevant to what's going on right now. Exactly. So, is it always problem? Sometimes one bullet shot down their heart. Set to automatically take a picture when loud noise is detected. Right. We haven't used the map for anything yet, which is weird. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat for a while. Take it off. You want some help on this one? I might. I mean, my guess would be to present the photo or maybe the map on this specific line of dialogue. Am I am I on the right track? Neither of those. And is the is the dialogue is the right one? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, the game was very explicit about check it yeah. out. Oh, 
What is this? What is this? I guess it's a newspaper article again? Yes. Because he just thought in his head about she would be yeah, on the outlook for the, the monster. Logic in this game is a little circular, yeah. which is why I feel he got me tripped up when I first played. Okay, so, yeah, because at this particular point I really would not like have you expected. You know what you're going for, but you don't quite know what thing it's asking for or what time. Yeah. So in this case, yeah. Uh -huh. Because yeah, he was just like, Ooh, wouldn't you be on the outlook for the monster? So I show the article of the monster again. <laughs> sure. Miss Hart. Were you really looking at the boat? But what's with you? Of course I was looking at it. Ah, so he's assuming she did uh, actually not watch it and she was lying again. It was the only thing out there. Any normal person would be looking at it. I agree. Any normal person? Wow. I mean, he's not wrong, but you shouldn't say it. Went through that uh, just pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. It was a very uh, 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 orangey trial, I tell you. But you are far from normal. Look at your hair. You are a Caucasian woman with an afro. How it does happens. this even work? It, it happens, but it's, it's difficult. Yeah, I knew a dude, a white boy in high school who had a white boy bro. He but had very curly bro. Okay, but a natural one? Yeah. Because most Caucasian people, or in this case, she's probably I mean, even meant a, to be Asian. It was a somewhat different texture, yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, it was like massive and curly. And mm -hmm. red. Red. Mm-hmm. Red hair. But you are far from normal. What? Y'all want to step over here and say that? You were camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You would be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy, that's what. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. Oh dear, continue Mr. Wright. You testified that you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You needed them to search for Gordy and that's what you were doing. Well? Hmm. Well, now that y'all mention it. I mean, we kind of already established that it would have been impossible to make out the faces on the boat for over a at least. I did sort of take my binoculars and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there and all. Heart, you lied for the 15th time in this court case. Well, how am I supposed to take any word that comes out of your lying mouth? Is what you wish you would say. Uh, are you saying that you were not watching the boat then? Sorry, y'all. Here's the thing that really, really aggravates me about her. I mean, normally you have guilty parties lying and it makes sense because they don't want to be uh, 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 convicted of murder so obviously they lie in court because if i got this right there's an actual death sentence in this game mm -hmm. so if anybody gets convicted of murder they act themselves so obviously you lie when your own life is on the uh, on the line because you have literally nothing to lose but your own life but she has nothing to she, she is just that shitty of a person that she keeps lying from A to Z the entire way through. Uh, she, she really pisses me off. Jesus, does she piss me off. You need to slow down there, boy. I wasn't fitting, really. I was just, I thought, you know, I could be a, murder, a witness to a murder and all. But you weren't. You motherfucking weren't! You were not a witness! <sighs> I kinda got excited. I hope the game is not actually expecting us to have, feel sympathy for her. I was sure I was watching that boat till now. All around me are familiar faces. I hope my face is familiar. Ah, who are you? Ah, ah, okay. 
You look blurry for a moment there without my glasses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So long as you can still recognize your own face in the mirror, because then I don't have to worry that you uh, had a stroke or something. <laughs> that is a symptom of a stroke. Okay. Not being able to recognize yourself in the mirror. Jeez, that's anyway, on anyways, that note. <laughs> yes, please. This is, this is totally uncalled for. But hey, you got the photograph, you got proof. Hmm. Oh, so we can't see who is shooting who it is. Right, right. That's why I took this photo and. Excuse me. Witness, that's enough witnessing for today. You are here to only say what I want you to say. Pretty much. You've had a long day. Shut your bio. <laughs> uh, sh shut my what? What was she going to say? She took the photo and what? Wait a second. Uh, Cusco, Cusco's Python. She even had a photograph to prove it. But you really can't tell from the photo who is shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality to a uh, might, but should let us see who's who. She enlarged the photo. Why won't Karma let her show it? I've got a hunch. I bet the enlarged photo shows something bad for Karma. This is my chance. If I'm wrong, not as uh, though I'll mean prison. It will mean a prison for Edgeworth, or worse. Show the enlargement. Wait to see what happens. No, show her the fucking enlargement. Miss Hart, look at this photograph. <laughs> what is the song again? The the, the Nirvana. The photograph. It's not. It's Nickelback. Nickel Nickelback, right? You enlarge. I've been thinking this... that every time they said it so far. Oh, okay. <laughs> you enlarge this photograph, did you not? Y yeah, I did. Why has that enlarged photograph of uh, enlargement not been present presented to the court? <laughs> because then I go for the monster voice again. Damn it! Because, but because it does not exist. What are y'all talking about? You were the one who told me not to show it in court in the first place. Whoopsie! Mm, dun dun dun! You old fool! <laughs> What's the video of this, Mr. Fakada? Uh, uh, blah, 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 Miss Hart Show the photographs of the court. Show us that enlargement. Mm, that's a line. I think it is. Slow down on the orange juice. The prosecution objects to the submission of this evidence. Why? Objection oh, denied. The witness will show the large <laughs> Shit. I said so. Here it is. And. Hmm. Oh, we still cannot see who is firing. Firing in this. It would be. Oh, it's the left hand. It's the left Yay. hand. I call it. I call it. Take photo edit to the court. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Wait, photo edit to the court. Chuck. Happy now, Mr. Wright. There's mm. something. There is something. Let me take over. Let me take over control of the game game. You asked for enlargement. You got the enlargement. Oh, mad, mad, mad view. There. Perfect. Wait. <sighs> Damn it, the hair is falling into place again. I can, I can close it up again. Okay, okay. Damn it, I normally don't have to open those. I can just pull off the, uh, the shirt like it is. <sighs> okay, let's go over there. <sighs> yes, yes. Screen cap it, screen cap it. <laughs> And little, little, little good has it done to any of us. That's why I requested she should not show it. 
I suppose this means that the cross-examination is over. Obviously. No, 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 no. Let me continue. Let me continue. It's the wrong hand. It's the wrong hand. Uh, well, I would like to uh, close the examination of Miss Lotterheart. And none to, none, to, none to soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time. He said with the most evil of glares possible. Mr. Mokaba, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed uh, to when the tra this trial began. Decisive evidence and decisive... <laughs> what? No. What is... What? What? <laughs> the witness is so not decisive anymore. What else would possibly be required? Yes, a decisive witness. Exactly. <laughs> Ouch. Hmm? Ouch, Liebestern. What the hell? Even uglier. Damn. Uh, uh, nothing, of course. No, I believe it's time for me to declare my verdict. Wait, it's not supposed to go like this. There has to be a clue in this photo somewhere. Like it might be looking us, staring this us in the face. This is bad, real bad. What should I do? Object to the enlargement. Show other evidence. Wait and see. No, object to the enlargement. Your Honor, there is something decisively strange with this enlargement. Oh, what might that be? Well, Mr. Wright, you will show the gold what you mean. What about the photo of strange? Okay, here goes nothing. I'll show the judge what's strange about this photo. <laughs> It's his face! Yep. Clearly. I mean, what would you. What else would you point on? I mean, maybe on the, the gun for some reason? The other because, hand because, that's not doing anything. Because, let's be completely honest here, this gun does not really look like the gun in the picture. Mm. It's literally not the gun in the evidence folder. Mm. Hmm. I mean, obviously, let's show that. It, uh, let's click on the hand. But remember how this looks. This looks kind of like a nine millimeter, like yeah. with a very thick uh, uh, shaft or whatever you call it. So, not barrel. Barrel. Okay, this is a barrel. Shaft. Too much. I don't know. It's not my native language, and I don't have to talk about individual yeah. parts of it. Take that. <laughs> oh, I can tap. Okay, it ha it looks yeah, it looks different. It has it has more of this roundish looking shaft, or not of a very. Well, keep in mind this is also like a attempt at drawing more clearly what was originally very digital, very more pixelated. So oh wait, yeah, actually. So the artist may have messed it up. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's not the same gun. I'm I'm uh, I'm completely aware that in universe yeah. it's supposed to be the same gun. Yeah. But, I'm saying uh, that might be because of the like yeah. transfer from low quality to higher quality. Oh, okay, that's. So there were two different artists working on it. But yeah, I just found it funny. I just found it funny! Here, your honor. The shooter? Oh, I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter is strange? I pointed directly at the hand. Look at the hand holding the pistol, your honor. The hand? That hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand does what? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence that <laughs> left hand contradicts uh, uh, the mother of Mia and Maya. Obviously. Uh, 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 the bullet into the heart. Da, da, da. The, the, the plan, the plan the, of the location. The, the bullet is slightly different when you fire with the left Absolutely. and right Absolutely, that's what they explained earlier when it came to ballistic markings. Um, the, the overhead map, because it's it's uh, 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 everything on this map is on the left-hand side of it, therefore it's a left-hand map. That's the evidence. So you're saying it's like, uh, it's like um, um, that one Legend of Zelda that was originally it was oh, Twilight yeah. Princess, when they ported it to the uh, Wii and they had to make flip the entire world to make it right-hand friendly. Oh, let's go with this random pick of evidence. This hand with Ed Rose's right hand fingerprints on it. I don't know. 
The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding the pistol with his left hand. <gasps> However, the prints on the murder weapon were from Wedgeworth's right hand. Ergo, the man shooting the pistol in this photograph might still be Edgeworth, but later picking up the hand with the other gun, uh, the, the gun up with the other hand, but still. But they didn't find any left handed prints. It's not Edgeworth! Wait, they didn't? They said they found right handed prints. Yeah, they found eight, uh, they found very nice prints of uh, Edgeworth's right, right, right hand. They would have said if they found other prints. I guess, maybe smudged ones. Isn't it weird that they only found Edgeworth's handprint? On From it? the wrong hand, so they probably wiped down the gun before and then uh, placed his hand when he was unconscious or whatever Who on it. Who knows? Who knows? We'll have to do more investigation. But I mean, there is still it could still be Edgeworth shooting with his left hand, then wiping it and then holding it with his right hand for this very uh, evidence to come up. I mean, it, it seems like a long shot but uh, uh, I mean this entire case is anyways and I'm once again baffled by how dead set the prosecution is on undermining evidence that that clearly proves holds in their story I mean there is trying to win a case and there is intentionally fucking it up I, uh, maybe they want this, a perfect record. Yeah, but this this one particularly yeah. does. I mean, I have never been to court. I'm not a prosecutor. I mean, this whole game is basically about how it's corrupt. The system is a bit corrupted. No, that's why you shit. need lawyers like Phoenix. Mm, pure at heart and not yet corrupted because they are so green behind her. They, yes, they haven't even caught the, uh, got their own their first bribe. Just wait until you get to the fourth game. It's all about the corruption of the system. Oh. And I thought it was about silly hairstyle, to my mistake. The horror well, game? A any Phoenix, any Ace Attorney game. I mean, also that. Whoa, well, no, that and is... puns. No, <laughs> yeah, puns. No, that everyone is in the courtroom was quite down. No, I would like to uh, uh, reconvene this court of law. Of law? Of law? You call this a court of law? I mean, it is the law, literally, but it's a shitty law. Uh, Mr. Wright... Yes, Your Honor. You have given us the uh, definite, uh, definite, definitive proof today. No. We now know that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, then who shot our victim? Precisely. So, even so, we just cleared, vaguely cleared, because... Even though I'm trying to defend Edgeworth, this is still bullshit because, once again, if there are no fingerprints of anybody using a left hand, it could just have been Edgeworth shooting with the left hand. We are just back to zero. Precisely. As we have seen, there, there, were, there were no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? No. Mate. What was that you were saying before? I know. It's just like, they could have made it at least a little bit trickier. Yeah. Uh, wait, what did I, what did I word it well? What did I word it not well this time? Not wording well today. What did I say now? And then you keep tripping up over words and pronunciation. Okay. I, I, I wonder why this could be. I have no clue. I'm not making another orange juice. And you don't need to make an orange juice, you just pour it. You're almost out. Yeah, it happens. It's, but yeah, it's like, okay, we had Edgeworth literally telling us in the beginning, like, maybe it was the victim himself. Miss Hart, how? Larry, how? We know the weapon. We definitely know the murder weapon. But we already know Miss Hart was lying about why she was on, why she was at the lake. Oh, so she could. So maybe she was lying she, that she was yeah, even she, camping. Maybe she was in that boat. May, 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 maybe she's the most stupid uh, 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 hired assassin in the history of hired assassins. But sure, I mean she's lying through her teeth with every word she says, so she might just be. Um, <laughs> hey, let's throw my old buddy under the bus. 
That seems to be relevant to this case so far. Yep, yep. But yeah, even... I mean, I am in no obligation of delivering an answer to this question, except for the game forcing me to. Because all I did was I proved... Actually, I didn't, but the game is treating it as if I proved the innocence of Edgeworth. Because, like, ho 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 ho, he cannot be the person using the left hand for we, whom we have no evidence anyways. Okay, I play along. I literally play along in this game. There is only one explanation remaining. Yeah, anybody else shooting him? But no. The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. But this actually still leaves questions, to be honest. Order, order. So, if the victim shot himself, like, first of all, uh, that's what I learned from uh, watching uh, crime shows, it has a certain distinct angle or whatnot to it if you shoot yourself. You cannot just shoot yourself. Let, let's account for the, the gun residue being actually washed off the hand when he fell into the lake. Let's grant the game this one even though that's not true. So the, the, the victim would still have gun residue at the hand. I'm pretty sure that's the case because it doesn't wash off with just water that easily. But there still needs to be another person present to come in, wipe the gun clean and put it into uh, um, Edgeworth's right hand. So. Yeah, I mean, we have stu still two days of court to go, but uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's like, okay, there was a suicide with an attached, uh, 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 um, not blame, what's it called? Order, order! Do I need to continue it for you, or are you going to keep stalling? I don't know, I keep rambling. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, that's if what I mean. No, so you were saying that the victim committed suicide? Right? Yes, Your Honor. I can think of no other explanation. Except for somebody just coming by on a second boat, shooting him, and then throwing the gun. I didn't see any other boats. I know, but then again, the witness is an idiot, anyways. And we still have the mysterious phone call who came five minutes too early. It does seem to be the only remaining option. I am so very, very sorry, Mr. Ryan. But suicide is out of the question. W what? An examination of the victim's wound reveals the distance uh, at which it was shot. Oh, yeah, see, I actually was onto something when I said that uh, 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 a suicide would look differently. Mm -hmm. huh. What do you know? Take that, Liebesstern. Apparently I'm not completely dumb and ugly after all. Well, she did say earlier, you know, all of her statements should be definitely taken 100% seriously all of the time. I know. That's, that's how, how internet works. Every person is always 100% sincere. Uh, the distance? Ah, one shot from the victim killing someone and one killing another person. Then the photo lady put the gun in Edward's hand. Ah. ah. Also, yeah, three shots. So, uh, oh my God, there's somewhere a second dead body. Bum mm. bum bum. The victim was clearly shot from further there than one meter away. A meter? That that's three feet. <laughs> yep. Uh, for the poor American audience and their uh, um, uh, imperial system, they needed to translate what a meter is. Kids might not have learned that yet. Any kid in a properly educated country would know what a meter is. They might not remember. They only just learned it recently. No, no, or it was a direct. It was a direct diss against America. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm trying to rationalize it. There is no way it could have been suicide. Order, order. Uh, Mr. Cover, uh, are you sure of the accuracy of the data? Of course. I had already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. Ah, oh. Shot from approximately one meter away, which fits with the picture and the length of the boat. Mm -hmm. Out of the report updated. 
What? Hmm? What? It's not an insult if it's true. The American, compare the American education, for example, to uh, Norway. I mean, Norway has a fucking stellar education in general. This country is insanely well educated. I actually considered move, uh, um, uh, migrating to Norway, but the problem is I'm bad with languages. And while most Norwegians actually speak English because, well, they are highly educated, uh, not speaking the native language is uh, uh, in the Scandinavian countries a little bit of a hindrance. So yeah, not speaking the native language of a country you've moved to is pretty tough. Yeah. I mean, we are currently in Berlin, where you can get very, very far with English. I mean, at this point, half my colleagues don't speak German. No. I mean, my direct colleagues all don't are native it's speakers. Still yeah. Then again, Corona, I haven't had to do it as much. Hmm, oh, I see. Well, 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 allow me to state my opinion. Considering the situation, the shooter had to be uh, the defendant. <laughs> what? Why? On what basis? Uh, however, uh, the prince of the gun revealed that the shooter was not his. <laughs> This is a good <laughs> Thank you. Uh, therefore, I would like to suspend the proceedings for this trial for the day. The court orders uh, defendants and the prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. <sighs> then that is all. This court is adjourned. Clap. It was, what was it? It was 11.09 or something the last time we were out here? Yep, so it's been about two hours. Two hours, huh? In real time it was also two hours? Wow. One and a half hours. Take a nap. This late? It's almost 10 p.m. It's true. Um, yeah. Whew, that was a close one. Hey! Don't you have anything to say, lover boy? No, I have yet to be declared innocent, right? Well, yeah, but... What happened out there on the lake? What happened out there on the lake anyways? If he didn't commit suicide, then who? The shooter was about a meter away too. Well, what? Don't give me that look. I did not kill him. I was just kidding around. <laughs> Look, I'm going to go check on Maya because she got arrested early in the second prison. Yeah, she's fine. The detention center again. Oh, right. What? Tell her something for me. What? Uh. Mm. Ah. Tell. Tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. Would it kill you to just state uh, how you really feel with uh, Sang's address? Nope, he's too tsundere for that. <laughs> he's very tsundere. He is the king of tsundere. I re uh, requisitioned. I requisitioned the transcript of Lotta's entire testimony. I thought it might give me some ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course she didn't uh, see the of course she didn't see the shooter. So the only part of her testimony that stood was the bang she heard. Lotta's disposition. I heard two sounds like gunshots just after midnight. <laughs> Lotta's disposition added to the court. Wow. And Fun Karma has the audacity to claim that I am wasting people's time. When his entire witness we had to deal with for an entire day boiled down to I heard two bangs. Jesus. Oh yeah, talking about two bangs. This is the moment we are leaving this game. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen. This was another disheveled episode of... Where's my tie? Yeah. I tried to fix it a little bit yeah. for you. Gaming and ties. Ace Attorney. 
Phoenix Wright. Other way around, Ace Att uh, no, Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright, or no, Phoenix, Phoenix Wright, Ace, Ace Attorney. Attorney. They didn't put Ace Attorney as in the, the front, front until it got to the fourth Fair one. enough. Um, we made it through another day in court, which tells me that we have more day court dates and investigation days ahead of me. And at this point in time, I have the feeling I will not get out of it. So, um, see you all next time when we continue this show. Not until you finish at least this game. Bye!